All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to lesson nine, module five. Our objective today is to compose larger fractions based off of a smaller fraction. So we want to use an area model and division to show equivalencies of two fractions, equivalency meaning same. So what fraction is shown by this? What do you see there? All right, if you said 6 twelfths, you are correct. That 6 twelfths is also equivalent to something else. Can you see what 6 twelfths might be equivalent to? Perhaps see how much of a whole is shaded there? If you said 1 half, you are correct. Because this 6 twelfths is half of this whole area model. Do you also see that 6 is half of 12? So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to prove it. We're going to say 6 twelfths equals 6 divided by 6 and 12 divided by 6. The reason we're doing that is because 6 is a factor of 12. So this is called finding the greatest common factor, and 6 is obviously a factor of itself, and 6 is obviously a factor of 12. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So we have just proven that 6 twelfths is the same as 1 half. Your numerator is 1. Your denominator is 2. If I look at this whole piece here, I see that this is one section out of two sections. So if you look at the size of our units and we divided them, they got uh, bigger. This whole unit is much larger than the original twelfths. So when you're dividing, your units get bigger. When you're multiplying, your units get smaller. Just like with multiplication, what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. What I would like you to do now is I'd like you to draw an area model, not a tape model, an area model like this to represent two-eighths. Pause while you do it. You may have drawn something similar to this. I have two out of eight pieces shaded. What we're going to do now is I want you to group two units together to make larger units. So it's going to look like this. You're going to group two units together. Try and go in the same direction. So I grouped my two shaded first. Continue grouping two units. Pause while you do it. So yours should look something similar to this, unless you went the other direction, but you should have groups of two. So why did we make groups of two? Well, the reason we made groups of 2 is because 2 is a factor of itself as well as a factor of 8. 2 is a factor of both. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our 2 and we divided it into 2's, into 2 groups, 2 per group. What we do to the top, we also do to the bottom. I took my 8 pieces and divided them into groups of 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. My numerator is 1. That means I have now have one shaded piece. Out of my denominator, four pieces. This time I would like you to draw an area model that shows 3 twelfths shaded and then see if you can figure out how to make an equivalent fraction. So something that it equals to. See if you can figure this process out. If not, I will talk you through it. So make an area model, 3 twelfths. Pause while you do that. If you worked yours all the way through the equation, then just bear with me. What I have here is 3 out of 12. I know that 3 is a factor of 3, and 3 is a factor of 12. So I'm going to group in groups of 3. Hopefully you did the same. 
when I group in groups of three, how many shaded units are in one group? One, two, three. So I say three divided by three equals one group now. I had three single units, and then I grouped them together because that's a common factor. Now I had 12 individual pieces, and I grouped them into three groups. How many groups did I end up with? Well, I ended up with four. So I did 12 divided by three. What you do to the top, you do to the bottom. 12 divided by three is four. That proves that 3 twelfths is equivalent to 1 fourth. They are equivalent. If you look at these two area models, you can see that 3 twelfths equals 1 fourth and 2 eighths mm -hmm. equals 1 fourth. So guess what? 2 eighths, 1 fourth, and 3 twelfths are all equivalent. equivalent because they all equal one-fourth. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So when we composed fractions in the last two problems, what were we doing? Well, we were dividing to find equivalent fractions. We were making equal groups to make larger units, and we were composing a unit fraction in the end. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to draw an area model to show 2 sixths and one that shows 4 twelfths. So I want two area models, one that shows 2 sixths and one that shows 4 twelfths. I would like you to write them right on top of each other so you can really compare them. So your first area model and your second area model should be the same size or pretty close. Do your best. Okay, go ahead and create 2 6 and 4 twelfths. Pause while you do this. This is what you should have ended up with. What we're going to do is we're going to prove that 2 6 is equivalent to 1 third and that 4 twelfths is equivalent to 1 third as well. You can see by our area models that they do look equivalent, don't they? Because this is taking up one whole strip. This is taking up one whole strip. There's one, two, three components, one, two, three components. So you should already be able to see it. So how can I bundle this one? Why don't you go ahead and try and figure out how to get from two six to one third by bundling into equal groups. Same thing, four twelfths to one third. I will stop after I do this one and show you, and then I will do this one. Go ahead and pause while you figure the two out. So you can see that I have divided this one. I bundled two together because two is a factor of two as well as a factor of six. So when I did that, I said two divided by two is one. That's my numerator. I now have one big piece. And I took my six smaller pieces, my smaller fractions, and divided them into two per group. So now I ended up with one, two, three large groups. I proved it. Go ahead and do the next one, four twelfths. What you should have had here was I originally had four. You originally had four here. And what I did is I bundled them in groups of four because four is a factor of 12 as well as itself. So if I had four here, I divided them by four because there are four in this one group and I got one whole group. There are four shaded pieces in this one group. And then I had 12 individual pieces and I divided them four into each group. How many groups did I get? One, two, three. I have now proven it. Can you see a connection between two sixths and four twelfths? Well, I hope you said they are equal because Two six equals one third, and four twelfths equals one third. So again, you can use division to find another fraction. We can use multiplication to find an equivalent fraction. We can use division. All right, go ahead and find a partner to do your problem set with, and then your homework. Good luck.